It's hard to sit around feeling sorry for yourself when you're scared out of your mind. Being someone who lost their eyesight, I'll admit that I kind of think about it constantly throughout the entire day. I mean, I'm constantly running into things that used to be really easy to do that are now difficult or needing my fiance banana to lead me around so I don't stumble into people or trip on things. But the one time of the day when I'm definitely not thinking about my vision loss is when I'm out surfing. Nice, that's a sweet ride right there. That's the one. Woo! Nice speed. Especially when I go out on a day like this where the waves are huge and the consequences of messing up are actually pretty big. Whoa, is that Pete? Oh my god. Yikes. He's gonna be excited. This day had waves that weren't just big, but surfers will understand this term, they were heavy waves as well. And as I could feel them coming in at me, I definitely wasn't sitting around thinking, boy, it sucks to be blind. I was getting brought up to the very top of these waves and dropping down very steeply, time after time after time, and all I could think of was, please make this landing. Nice, Pete, you're killing it today. Coming down the falls like it's no big deal. Everything happens last minute, last second for me out there, and the moment I feel that wave coming, where other people get to look back and see it and time it, it's just on me, and I have to make my pop-ups really fast, basically just to survive. On this day, something happened to me that had basically never happened before. Usually, when you ride a wave for a while, it ends. Or if it reforms, it's kind of a small reform. But I heard the wave behind me getting really angry, and I didn't know exactly what it was, but it kind of scared me enough that I ducked down and then got pummeled. It's freaky not knowing exactly what's coming, but like I was saying, I'm not thinking about anything but that while I'm doing this. Oh, and on top of that, uh, we were pretty sure there were sharks out there this day. Brooks has spotted a fin, which may or may not be a shark. I saw it as well. You saw it as well? It's unidentifiable. Did it. Do you want to show them the, the shark signal that we came up with? If you see one, what are you supposed to signal? <laughs> shark. <laughs> I am not a doctor, though I have definitely played one a handful of times on the radio. And I would prescribe to anyone who is suffering from anything that preoccupies your day, go out and do something that scares you. If not scares, at least challenges. If you can force your mind to focus on something other than the thing that's bothering you, that's upsetting you, that's making you depressed, that's a good thing. Taking on these waves and beating them? How can I not be excited about that?